guys, sorry for the way I look and the way I sound. I'm still sick, but I did get a package in the mail today from Kevin and I wanted to open that up for you guys. Kevin sent my dad a bag of pistachio nuts. My dad absolutely loves pistachio nuts and for some reason they're extremely expensive down here in North Carolina. They're cheaper in California, believe it or not. So he sent my dad some pistachio nuts. My dad is sleeping right now, so when he wakes up, I'll go ahead and give him those. We also got a letter from Alex Griffin, addressed to Fred the Lone Wolf. So again, when my dad wakes up, we'll let him open that. I got a letter here from Cody from Oregon, and it says, my neighbors. Thank you again for having my family and I over at your house for dinner. It was a great, it was great and way better than our pizza hut. <laughs> my son is asking when we get to see our friends again. Too cute. And now every time my daughter gets excited about going places, she, she says, yay, Disneyland. I don't think she knows what Disneyland is. <laughs> We will have to come visit again soon. I love Southern California, and my new job has a bunch of resorts in the area we all could enjoy. Your friend Cody. P.S. Kiss Lucy and Freckles for me. Oh, and Boomer. I'll have to have Kevin or Angie do that because I'm all the way here in North Carolina and I can't kiss them. But... Yes, we definitely do have to get together again soon, and uh, I would look forward to that very much. Thank you for the letter, Cody. We got another letter here. Um, I believe this is from Tom's show, and let's open that up. I just read Tom's letter, and first off, I'd like to say thank you so very much, Tom, for the sweet and kind words that you said. Um, I'd like to let everybody know Tom has been with us from the very beginning of our channel, and we have been in contact with Tom and have done swaps with Tom, and he is a very special person to us, and he will always be a very special person to us. And in the letter, he does talk about coming to LA, and I look very much forward to that time to where he does come and I get to, we get to meet him in person. I am going to read the letter to you guys. Um, there's nothing in here that I feel I can't share with the community. Dear Val, I write this letter with the heaviest of hearts. The pain of losing a loved one to cancer is unmeasurable. I myself have seen the magnificent work done by palliative doctors and nurses here in the UK and wholeheartedly believe your father will receive the best possible care. In my short 17-ish, 18 years, May 14th, I have lost two magnificent, wonderful people to cancer. They were my father and my grandmother. I hope this letter, I hope in this letter to help you not only with my story, but to know it does get better. No matter how hard life is, you hit it back four times as hard. My inspiration to write this letter, letter was your video entitled Valerie. My story. I was nine the first time I experienced the magical work of palliative doctors and nurses. They helped my father until the end. That will be nine years ago on the 15th of December 2016, just six months prior to celebrating his 40th birthday with my mom, my sister and I on a vacation to LA, Las Vegas and the Grand Canyon. That is also where my sister and I celebrated our ninth birthday. Unaware it would be our last as a family. Just seven days after returning, my wonderful father was diagnosed with stage four cancer. Whilst my sister and I were never told, always hoping he would get better, my family knew the end was near. 
I treasure the memories I have from his final months as some of the dearest. I have always been the person to put my arm around a friend in need. Whilst I cannot do it in person, I hope this letter does the same thing for you. Bad times will always precede the good times. Never forget that. Whilst your father may be in pain and visibly suffering, take his hand and say nothing. This is the best thing you can do once you know you can no longer say things will get better. I do this with my, I did this with my grandmother and treasure those moments of quiet reflection. I always remember back to the times in my life, both my grandmother and father, when they were in good health and spirits. This is how I wish to remember them. So always remember your dad in the good times, but treasure the memories from the bad. Whilst the rest, the next few months or years will be inconceivably hard. Always remember they have to come, will be less painful for them than you. I take solace in knowing my father and grandmother are no longer in pain as you will as he moves on. Whilst we have never met, I hope to come out to LA in 18 months to two years. Maybe then we can meet. Until then, my friend, stay strong. My deepest sympathies and heartfelt prayers, your friend, Tom. Tom Shell. Thank you very much, Tom. This is very special to me, and I'm sorry that you had to experience such heartache at such a young age, and even though you're all the way in the UK, I do feel your arm around me and the strength that you have, and you're, you're helping me. This letter is very special, and it does mean a lot to me, so thank you very much for this letter. And then I got a package here, a little package. I don't know who it's from. It says Groupon Goods Warehouse from Kentucky. Um, I didn't order anything that I'm aware of, but let's see what's in here. Looks like it might be from Sarah and Josh from Meet the Presleys. Let's see what it is. Ooh. is pretty. It is a glass square pendant with genuine gemstones in 14k gold amethyst. So there's amethyst inside here. Isn't that beautiful? That is absolutely gorgeous. And I am going to put that on right now. There we go. Thank you, guys. And it just says Joshua in San Diego, so I'm assuming that's from Josh and Sarah from Meet the Presleys. I'm assuming that's who it's from, so thank you guys. I love it. It's absolutely beautiful, and um, I love st gemstones, and amethyst is a very special gemstone, so. So Pa woke up, and now he's going to open up his letter from Alex Griffin. He's one of our subscribers. Thinking of you. Very pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't read it. 
I just wanted to let you know I am thinking about you and I'm glad that you are home from the hospital and that you are getting good care at home. I will be sending thoughts and prayers your way. Stay strong. God bless. Alex Griffin. Thank you. And show them what Kevin sent you. Kevin sent you. Oh. <laughs> Kevin, oh, my nut, my nut, my nut. Kevin oh, sent him a bag of pistachio bad. nuts. Oh. Thank you, Kevin. And this reminds me of all the times that I've been there and we sat there in the chair eating nuts all day, you and me. <laughs> I'll get some scissors and open we, we those. Get a big for bowl you. of it and a, two, and a cu empty cup. And I'll an get you set up and... as soon as I'm done here. Only I used to be able to just grab it like that and pop them. Now I can't seem to get it no more. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Okay, let me get you a bowl to put them in. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>